Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on, uh, with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And, uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off, she called me. Monique did, and she said I was very dismissive, like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints, I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't, because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It's, it's also befuddles the somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything you say about people. This everybody uh, allegedly it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about the video and she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence, evidence of that because Monique is a she's lying about that. But what you will find. Is Monique talking sh alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife, then brought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was molested and Monique bought that. She told the world that I she was lying. And it only stopped when everybody really checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren. Cause no, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the worst reviews of any Netflix special in history because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people, except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she goes, everywhere she goes. How is it that not even your family? How do you or well, I was on the road getting it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you are fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn from Kenya, East of Africa, and I hope that you guys are keeping safe, doing great from whatever part of the world that you're watching me from. Anyway, you all know that for the longest time, DL Hungry, together with Monique, have had a grudge. And in a recent interview with Shannon Sharp uh, at Club Shay Shay, Monique told uh, Shannon that their grudge with DL originated from a contract dispute they had back then in the year 2022 but she also added that you know uh they have always ha they have always had the grudge because uh dl always talked bad about her to everyone over the years so i don't know what you all think about that because you all know that you can never know what two people especially in the same industry as comedians you know you can never know what's wrong maybe it's just um Maybe it's just jealousy over each other's success, but you just never know. Now, after Monique said a few things on Club Shay Shay, one, uh, mentioning the daughter of DL, uh, DL Hankley, Monique told, uh, Shannon that, you know, uh, DL watched while her daughter got violated 
and he did nothing they all felt so 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 bad because you all know as a parent you can just watch while your daughter goes through something and you don't do anything so they all felt so 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 bad by that statement and i felt like that was too low of monique to bring up children in their grudge uh for god's sake they are grown-ups they shouldn't bring up children in whatever they have going on so uh dl felt so 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 bad about that statement in as much as monique talked about a lot of things to a point why uh, to a point where he decided to address all that interview uh through this video that you just watched and uh, yeah as you've had dl has said that um Monique's get along with no one apart from her husband whom uh, she apparents, apparently pays every month for being her manager and she, he said that you know Monique gets along with no one in her family members and even in uh, with their fellow comedians they'll say that Monique uh, ask a lot of um, uh, financial help from other comedians and Monique would only you know uh, be good to you whenever she was Wants to get something from you and that is what dl said she also added that you know she felt so 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 bad monique going on a show like that one to lie that you know she did nothing while her daughter got violated because if you all didn't know dl's daughter is a victim of uh, sexual harassment and we hope that that girl is so 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 is doing so great right now because you know it's just sad to see you know uh, be to, to see your your name or even being to see yourself being mentioned in your parents issues so we just hope that she's great dl said that monique lies a lot and dl said that she has tried a lot to you know just make sure that his relationship with monique is good to a point where you know monique had gone to uh, his uh, podcast and uh, if you all know dl's podcast has this segment of never have i ever and uh, monique told the, uh dl that he was not good with that segment maybe she felt like you know she's uh, too old for that and dl said that after monique complained about the segment she dropped the segment and didn't post um monique's uh didn't post monique's segment to the people because she just because he just wanted to be respectful to monique's request and uh they are saying that he has tried a lot you know to be in good terms with monique but monique keeps bringing her bringing his name up here and there so you know he even said that uh on netflix a special monique's interview is the interview with the least views and all that stuff i guess you know she was just trying uh she was just speaking out of anger because of monique mentioning her daughter anyway i don't know what you'll think about these two people grudge but i feel like they should you know you know uh try to uh solve their issues and try to not mention each other's families anyway i don't know what you'll think just go ahead in the comment section tell me what do you think